Peck by Peck, Kent Bell shares his story. This is how I live. This is what happened in my life. Some of it is good, some of it is not so good, and, but it's the hard truth. And that's why I'm writing my book. 27 words a minute, on and off, for six years. The title is perfect. My brother Danny, when I started this project, he said, you gotta make a title that's catchy. Catchy and true. The cover of the book says it all about this man. I was born like this. So to me, this is normal. This is my normal way of doing things. I don't know any other way. I never knew how to walk. I never knew how to pick up stuff. An assisted living facility is his home, but most of the time, Bell doesn't need any help. A mouth stick is his hand at home and at work. Kent is the scoreboard operator for the UNF basketball team. When they see me, they know that, oh, the scorer's table is in quote unquote good hands. Man, what a blessing to life he is. Because if you can't appreciate life after being with him, then there's seriously, there's seriously a lot of stuff going on. You probably need more professional help than anything else. Points, timeouts, fouls, substitutions, and the game clock. Bell is at the center of it all. I can tell just by, by the crowd's reaction which team scored, and um, I can actually do it with my eyes closed sometimes. He's been here almost 14 years now, and you're going to love the way Kent tells the story about how he ended up here at UNF. His family had moved from Indiana to Florida, and he got the job running the scoreboard sight unseen. You know, all she asked was my, what are my qualifications and experience. That's all she asked. I took the military approach, don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> He's got a great sense of humor and a sense of adventure. Doing good, man. Like if you ever get to go to YouTube and watch them water skiing, I mean, it's awesome. Kent plays soccer, and he just won the Gate River Run Challenger Mile earlier this year. 36 inches tall and just 82 pounds, yet he doesn't take one day of life for granted. I was supposed to live three days. Get the blood going. 46 years later, he's battling for his life once again. And not even sweet music can hide the agony of dialysis three times a week. Kent needs a kidney transplant. It is as rough as everybody thinks it is, and then some. I don't like it, but um, I know it's helping me keep me alive. It's harder on Kent because there are few places to draw the blood. Just another chapter, though, in the book even if it is real life for Kent. You know, you think to yourself, how does he whatever? How does he sleep at night? How does he go to bed at night? How does he lock his doors at night? How does he go to the bathroom? Who cleans up when he goes to the bathroom? How does he get a drink? Well, just like you and I, he goes to the fridge and pops a top. That's how I do it. An amazing story. For Kent Bell, it's an autobiography.